Charlie, what is your secret to Fountain of Youth? When I was young, I was trying to shorten my life, not extend it. I was afraid that I would spend too much time at the end drooling into a cup or something in the nursing home, and I wanted to cut that part of life short. So I always ate plenty of whipped cream and <laughs> animal fat and sugar and so forth. And it didn't work. I just kept living and living and living. <laughs> so, so finally I, I started to think a little bit about it. And I, a friend of mine took over Harvard for a long session to celebrate a, a birthday. And there was a famous medical school professor from Harvard there. And I said, you know, he says, in my golf foursome, two of us outlived everybody else. And we both grew eight inches in the first year of college. Is there any correlation between late poverty and puberty and long life? And the great man from Harvard, who was Atoll Gwandi, said, I don't know. And I went back to Los Angeles, and the next week came a big stack of research. And sure enough, in both men and women, the later the puberty the longer the life expectancy. And I was terribly pleased with myself <laughs> to have this new knowledge. And I went out the first night and met some lovely young woman of about 60. And I was just brimming with this new knowledge. And I said, do you realize that there's this enormous correlation between long life and late puberty? <laughs> and she looked at me and said, Charlie Munger, you son of a bitch, why did you have to tell me this? I started menstruating when I was 10 years old. 